Okay, hi everyone. I'm gonna do a little more uh, research, I guess we can call it, some, some research pseudo playthroughs. Uh, this time I just finished the Thief show, so the next thing on the list is Tex Murphy, the Tex Murphy games. So I'm going to start out by playing the first Tex Murphy game, Mean Streets, which came out in 1989. So this is definitely a much older game than, uh, than Thief, that's for sure. So uh, I'm just going to post on Facebook, tell everyone that I'm streaming. The Twitter post, I believe, already goes out automatically, thanks to these fancy tools that I use. But uh, uh, Streaming Mean Streets live at Twitch, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so here we are in a wonderful DOS box. I'll we'll just make the window reasonable. Okay, that looks good. And let's do what we have. Oop. All right, there we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, so the way, what do we got here? What did DOS box do for me? C is mounted as blah, and D is mounted as the game. So let's go to the D drive. Oh, look at that. There's files. Okay, uh, I believe. Let me do this. Nope, I've, where'd my star go? Dot, damn you. MS, mean streets. That makes sense. Okay, so I read uh, through a little bit of the manual. And uh, I have a basic idea of, of gameplay here. And uh, I'm also interested to see this whole uh, music thing, because they got this crazy music system. But, uh, you know what, let's just start the game. Okay, so Mean Streets version 1.4. We can do all kinds of stuff. So yeah, what I was talking about is this real sound craziness, where you can actually like... So apparently, yeah, all the sound in the game comes through the, the PC speaker, but it's actually fairly good for PC speaker sound. It's actually like music and sound effects and things like that. And here they're kind of telling you a way that you can go to the store, buy an RCA cable, strip it, rip the two things out, buy alligator clips, attach it directly to your PC speaker. It's pretty awesome. But uh, I don't need to do that since we're using DOSBox. And um, you know what? Let's just begin. Do do. Play. Okay, so let's go crazy and use VGA graphics. You know, this is not bad for pure PC speaker music, basically. No sound card involved in this when, uh, when you had to do it originally. And for 1989? Yeah, you know, I'll, I'll, I'm impressed thus far. So I guess 1989 we were looking at maybe Space Quest 2, something like that, and um, it didn't look as good as this. It's pretty realistic looking. Oh, by the way, I am sick, which is why I'm streaming at this time and I'm not at my job, so uh, I, I may cough at any point in time. I apologize uh, ahead of time. Okay, so I guess we should. Options, what do we got? Sound, fight. Ooh, fight. That sounds interesting. Uh, escape. Start new game. So, your name is Tex Murphy, a private investigator in San Francisco. The year is 2033, and you've just been hired by a beautiful young lady named Sylvia to investigate the death of her father, Dr. Carl Linsky. Dr. Linsky was a prominent professor at the University of San Francisco, ooh, excuse me, and had been working on a secret project. Sylvia had asked him about his work several times, but he would not talk about it. And then a few days ago, he jumped, or was pushed, from the Golden Gate Bridge. The police are sure it was a routine suicide, but Sylvia thinks it was murder. Your job is to solve the case. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, yeah, so there's a lot more info, kind of background info about this in the uh, in the manual. They talk about the back, you know, there's, there's a whole narrative of this occurring and blah, blah, blah. But let's go on. So we've been given $10,000 cash by your client and we have five leads. Please refer to the section getting started in the manual for a list of your leads and some important suggestions. Luckily, I happen to have the manual right here on my iPad, and luckily it's working because I just upgraded it to iOS 7, and um, I'm enjoying it thus far. Okay, where is this getting started section? Come on, iBooks. 
Whoop, okay, iBooks needs to update. And it's gonna open up again. Uh, uh, playing tips, flying instruments, inventory, landing, getting started. All right, escape. Help is available by pressing H, good to know. I may need that. Okay, so I am in my car. Things are looking, I hope this, oh right, I guess I'm looking at a wall. Uh, speeder controls, forward reverse is plus and minus. Cursor left and right. I wonder if they said maybe numlock off would probably be a little more ideal. I'll stop, pitch up down. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, I guess I can uh, minus, plus, plus, minus. Oh, okay, I'm turning. All right. Uh, and navigation. Here we go. Okay, so we are in California. And uh, what did I want to do? I think there was a way to enter. Okay, so I should go and talk to Sylvia Linsky. Uh, she is Carl Linsky's daughter, and she lives at 4421. So there's these like there's this coordinate system. Let's turn them lock back on. Four. Nope. Doesn't work. Four. Nope. Nope. Oh, and enter nav code. There we go. If I paid attention, it might actually work. Okay, so Carl Linsky is a professor that jumped to his death. He worked at the University of San Francisco, which is 4663. You know what? Let's go to 4663. I'm not going to use a... Uh, what's it called? A uh, walkthrough, at least not yet. I'm going to try and figure this out on my own. Uh, if I hit enter. Okay. Incoming fax. And it says, from Vanessa to me, time one minute. Here's that article on Linsky's death. No depressor pound dead. Okay, yeah, I actually read a copy of this in the uh, in the manual. <coughs> Linsky's fiance, Dolores Lightbody, indicated that the professor had been under a great deal of stress. Okay, so let's go check out his office or whatever. Hopefully this is actually going to make me... Hey? No? Navigation? Autopilot? No? Am I there? Is that how it works? Is that it? Oh. Now how do I get out of the car? Yeah, see this... H. Let's check it out. External views. I'll stop. Toggle map. Toggle warp. Phone Vanessa. Phone Lee. Navigation computer inventory. Engine sound. Bank control. Auto pitch. Autopilot. Wait, how do I exit car thing? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Forward, turn, pitch, stop, external views, hover. Toggle warp, phone Vanessa, navigation computer, inventory, load, save. External views, okay, now. That's not how you do it. Ooh. Three five five one nine four. Okay, let's. Uh, let's try that again. Four six six three. I assume I'm supposed to push enter. Destination locked. Okay, that's good. Oh, autopilot engaged. Okay, I guess the fax came in before I was actually able to uh, to do anything. So you see this one, I kind of, I was of the, uh, of the idea that I probably needed to, uh, to read the, uh, the manual before I played this game. You get to the games back in kind of like the eighties, then you definitely have to read the manual because you're not going to get a ton of help. Actually, this one does have some help, which isn't bad. But, uh, as you can see, it's not entirely straightforward. I think W was warp, right? No? Okay. W doesn't do anything. Apparently, you can fly places manually, though I, I feel like that would be very challenging. Okay, to exit speeder, press E. E? Okay, you gotta push the, push the button with conviction. 
Okay, so welcome to the University of San Francisco. The instructor's offices at the University of San Francisco are small cubicles attached to the main classroom areas. I walk down the corridor and find the door with Professor Linsky's name on it. <coughs> Excuse me again. Uh, I try the door, but it's locked. I pull out my private detective all-purpose door opening kit and quickly pop it open. I scan the office, but it looks like no one has been here for quite some time. There are miscellaneous notes on the desk and textbooks in a bookcase on the wall. I examine the notes, but they don't strike me as important. Uh, an additional five to ten minutes of searching produces nothing I use. Nothing else to see or do at this location. Okay. So what else have we got here? We can go talk to Sylvia who gave us the case, uh, but she already gave us a bunch of information. So let's go talk to John Richard, the medical examiner. His office is at 4670. So let's go to 4670. Autopilot. <coughs> I'm curious as to whether the sky is supposed to be red or if this is some kind of DOS box issue. Maybe that's something that's worth checking. I have it set to OpenGL, which is usually kind of the most, uh, not OpenGL, sorry, uh, DDraw, Direct Draw, which is usually the most uh, forgiving drawing format, even though Surface is usually the default, but I find for Streaming stuff surface usually doesn't work very well, so. Okay, we are at the medical examiner's office. Swanky place. All right, walking inside the medical examiner's office is, truly is a truly depressing experience. Long, cold, dark corridors and stainless steel utensils everywhere, and they've gotten so busy down here, they've had to install a conveyor belt. I wonder how much longer I've got before the meat wagon brings me here for my ride down the disassembly line. John Richards, the M.E., meets me in the examination room. He's pretty strange, but it would take someone who's pretty strange to do a job like this. Okay, so let's question. Tell me about Carl Linsky. <coughs> Tell you about Linsky's death. Nothing odd about this one. He jumped off the bridge. Massive shock when he hit. Lungs filled with water. Dead as a rock. I'll send you a copy of the autopsy report. <laughs> so let's see, what else do we have? Be sure to use people's full names. I also have some leads called MTC Corp, Gideon Enterprises, Overlord, Passcard, Password, Nexus, Law and Order, and Insurance. Okay, maybe he has a question. Maybe I can ask him about insurance. Sorry, can't help you there. Wow, you're a doctor. You should know about insurance. Uh, so the uh, Linsky. Sorry, can't help you there. What about his fiance? Maybe she came by. Delore. I'm trying to oddly spelled name. Light body. Nope. About the cop. You can tell me about the cop. Steve Clements. He investigated the case according to the manual. Uh, 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 MT, oh, MTC Corp. This guy's worthless. Nexus. Nope. There's a list of words here that in the manual that apparently I'm already supposed to know about as, as leads that were provided to me by my secretary. Uh, password. Uh, Gideon Enterprises. I've heard the name before. I think Linsky was associated with them. Okay, well that's that's some. Uh, so let's go back to Carl Linsky since I had some other options there. What? Carl. Skate. Blah blah blah. What if I bribe him? A bribe? What's this? A joke? 
threaten? I don't think... He's looking up in the corner. It looks like he's lying. Yes. Sorry, can't help you there. What? Keeps spelling his name wrong. Carl L-I-N-S-K-Y. Lynn Sky. Boom, boom, boom. Threaten? It's time to get tough. I get a steely-eyed look and say that I'll air out that oversized skull if I don't get the facts now. Big mistake. Before I have a chance to do any more and then shoot my mouth off, two guys appear from nowhere, work me over pretty good, and knock me out. As I regain consciousness, I groggily realize I'm being thrown out the front door. Okay. So that's something. Incoming facts. Oh, look. The nice guy that I just threatened gave me the report. <coughs> so maybe I should be more careful who I threaten. So, from John Richards to me... An autopsy was performed on the body of Carl Linsky at the office of the medical examiner. 510, blood type A. External examination, body is cool to the touch with fixed vigor in the extremities. Okay, I'm sure that means something. A small burr hole in the skull indicates recent surgery. So let's write that down. So clues. I have a piece of paper here because that's what you've got to do in these kinds of games. So, uh, Linsky surgery. Structure at base of brain intact. Neck shows massive damage to spinal cord, possibly by severe impact. Maybe I should ask about impact. Pulmonary system is purple and shows a large amount of blood and frothy fluid in the chest and stomach. Death caused by massive shock and drowning. Time of death estimated between 10 p.m. and 11.30 p.m. on September 20th. I'll write that down. Death, 20 September, between 10 and 11.30. Let's go back and talk to this dude again, if I can. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they'll let me in again. Yep, 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 yep. Sir Jury. Linsky. Carl Linsky. Surgery. Okay, same thing. All right, let's go talk to Dolores Lightbody, who is Carl's fiance. <laughs> what happened now? Well, lots of faxes coming in. Didn't I already get this? Oh, okay, it's like a, uh, a triggered event. Every time I leave, at least at this point, it seems like every time I leave the, uh, the place, I get that fax. Interesting. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Uh, or it's just really, really straightforward programming of an old game. Okay. Navigation. Nav code. Uh, light body. 4920. Destination locked. Autopilot. So it's an adventure game with a weird kind of pseudo flight sim element involved. Pseudo, I say. Very pseudo. Wah, wah. <coughs> there must be a way to make this stuff go quicker. I thought I saw a warp button, but I pressed it and it, let's see, W? No. W? No. See, toggle warp, W. Yeah, whatever. <coughs> well, it's far away, way across town. <coughs> Are we going? 
going down yet. Come on. There, now we're going down. See, the altitude thing's going down. Weird. Okay, let's get out. Oh, Dolores Lightbody lives in a well-kept Victorian house in a neighborhood filled with the houses of attorneys and bankers. I walk up to the front door and ring the bell. She answers the door. Miss Lightbody is not what I expected. She has the face of a saint, a Saint Bernard. Whoa, oh my Lord. Yes, that is an unattractive woman. Okay, tell me about Carl Linsky. Carl was my fiance and he had been quite upset lately. He was worried about the project he was working on. He wouldn't talk about it in specifics. Carl lived at NC4660. Do I have? So locations. Carl's house. 4660. But he didn't work there. I think he had a lab somewhere in the city. His work must have been for the government because everything was top secret. Uh, Linsky's work. Something to ask about. Tell me about Sylvia. Linsky. Ski. Sylvia and I never got along very well. That's good to know. When her father died, she was quite upset. She was even more upset when she talked to Peter Dull. So who is Peter Dull? The insurance agent. Uh, the insurance company would not pay the million dollars because her father's death was declared a suicide. Carl had taken a life insurance policy out several months ago. He was worried about his health and wanted to leave his daughter something. Okay. What else do I have to ask about here? Uh, let's ask about the cop. Let's see if she talked to the cop. Clements. Officer Clements asked me some questions about Carl's death. I'm afraid I couldn't help him much. So we asked about insurance. Uh, and order. This is one of the things that's in the manual. I've heard the name, but I don't know much about them. I'm not very political. Okay, I guess that means they're a political party of some type or some something like that. Nexus. Sorry, I can't help you. Password. <coughs> TC Corp. Gideon. You spell it Gideon Enterprises. Can't help me there. Pass card. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Peter Dahl, let's see. I don't know if she already told me, but let's see if she says anything else. He was Carl's insurance agent. He works at four six seven. Four. Yeah, that'll do for her. So let's go check out Carl's house. N. Four six six zero. Hey. N. Four six six zero. Destination locked. Warp. Autopilot. Full throttle now, baby. Let's go. Bum, bum. Is there like a? Oh, there is a map there. But yeah. This isn't definitely. This is definitely not the most intuitive uh, navigation system. I think I'll say.
Okay, so I see the blue numbers on top kind of remind me of, uh, or they don't remind me, that's the uh, distance to target. Okay, so I'm starting to get the idea. 1.4, 1.3, 1.2, And we're there. Time to go down. This fancy hover car. The three-story Queen Anne-style home of Professor Carl Linsky has been well kept. I step inside and notice the quaint style of furniture and decor. Okay, let's help here. Okay, move the man using the cursor key. So this is search mode. <coughs> if press enter appears in the lower window, press enter to bring up the search system. You cannot move the man, which I assume is me. <coughs> <coughs> Uh, well, in the search system, press B to go back. Use up or down to select an item. Use left and right to select command, and then press enter. Okay. Couch is an antique 1960s contemporary style. Can we open the couch? Doesn't seem to want to open. Get the couch, no, let's move the couch. I guess I don't want to hurt my back. Taste the couch. Coffee table. Brushed aluminum coffee table. Move the coffee table, okay. Guess I didn't do anything. Open it, it doesn't open. Oh, let's go back. Coffee table. Yes, it's fine. See, how do I get to that note and chess? Oh, there we go. So let's look at the chess set. I know the note is probably the thing I want, but the chess board is set up with all the pieces except one. A bishop is missing. Missing bishop. Okay, that's securely fastened down. Can't open it. Apparently I'm demented. Okay, let's look at this note. There's a handwritten note that says, I'm fine, I'm going to get you for failing me. All right, I got a note that says bad things. Back. What about the plant? What about the plant? Miniature palm tree mutation is set in the corner. Move the plant, okay. Can I open the plant, no. Nope. Get the plant, it's too big. Let's taste it, because why not? Yuck, I'm not a gourmet, okay. B, go back to man. Okay, here's a whole different area. Let's look at the chair, executive swivel chair. Move it, okay. Desk key. Hey, come back here. Chair, executive swivel chair, apparently. Small desk keys on the seat of the chair. Get, okay. How do I save my game? <laughs> I feel like I need to save my game. Nico, what are you doing? Oh, my cat is sitting right behind me on my chair, so I'm actually perched right on the edge of the chair. Uh, save, 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 save. Landing, searching. Write down clues, take things with you, defend yourself. Save often, okay. D for disc is how I save. Oh, and I can only do that when I'm in my car, okay. So, display case. You don't have the tools. Look at the display case. Magnetic, 
this one. Oh, we're all right, it's 2033. It's protected by a magnetic field. You notice two slot screws partially hidden and surmise you could shut down the field if you had a slot screwdriver. Need screwdriver for case in house. Good stuff. Stave. Inside the case is a historical artifact, the Maltese fruit cake. Carbon dated as the oldest fruit cake <laughs> in existence. It dates back to 16th century Europe. Nobody wanted to eat it either. Value $4,000. $4, Can I get it? Right, it's in the display case. If only I could. I couldn't eat it, it's too valuable. Okay, what's in the trash can? I said, what's in the trash can? A trash can sits on the floor next to the desk. There's a lease. Bridgeview Warehouse located in San Francisco, rented to Karolinski 10 months ago. So this could be his office space or his research space. Lab, that's a, that's a lab space. And that is at 4675. Okay, so I'm getting the hang of this. Take that and another note. People write everything down. The note is a handwritten letter to Dolores Lightbody. It says, Dolores, I'm calling our relationship off. It has nothing to do with Sandra Larson. Ooh. Who is Sandra Larson? I need to ask Dolores. I just know there are other whales in the sea, and I dot dot dot. Oh, we're definitely nope, not definitely taking that. Okay, the desk. I want to look at it. Brush the aluminum work desk. Look at the drawer. Desk side drawer. Let's open the drawer. Okay. Sound effects are good. I have to admit. I have to admit for what they are. They are good. Two inch digital audio tape. I guess I need something to play that with, so I'm gonna take that. And a grade sheet. Grade sheet is for an advanced psychology course. The name of one student is circled. Blaze Wiener, that's quite the name. Student, so people I will put stars next to. Linsky's work, it looks like I found. He received an E. Well, it's worse than a D, I guess. Get. K. Back. Oh, good, a digital tape player. Get. Okay. So how do I use my... Inventory. How do I even look at my inventory? Using the autopilot, using the nav computer. Inventory system. All the inventory items you've collected are available by pressing I while in your speeder. You can also pawn items for cash. Okay, what if I open? Nope. On? You slip the tape you found. In the desk, into the tape player. The voice on the tape cries out, they're in my head, they're in my head. They're in my head, they're in my head! Ooh, that was fun. They're in my head. So is that everything here? I guess so. Back. <coughs> That's fine. We did all that stuff. Let's go check out the bar area. Box. It's quite the quite the little trail I'm creating here. 
Professor, I got the possible Nexus passwords. Ah, Nexus passwords to be decoded. Okay, so let's write this down. Nexus passwords. I S B P H O U. I need to get a book for this. U E Q and E. I mean, for these notes, I'm gonna need like a freaking notebook. <coughs> L A S E N T O L W. N O D G A R G N O P N I K G. Oh, there's a lot of these. O O R K. I could take a screenshot of this. N A P W. Uh, where was I? NAPW. E H C E T Mac. B M G T A I. E. I guess I'm actually taking this with me, but ah, whatever. I'm almost done. E T S. A E L Matt S L C T A E and I K T G H and I K T G H C L B I K and T E W I H. Okay. Can I take the shoebox? Guess I don't need a shoebox. Back. Whiskey. Move the whiskey. Get the whiskey. Okay. Definitely not a quick walker. How about the bookcase? Oh, nothing here. Okay, what if I... Okay, that turned on lights. That's handy. Standard oak and metal entry table. The fax machine. Faxes are very, very big in 2033, it seems. Okay, so let's check out what's going on with this cabinet. So obviously, as you can tell, this isn't really a, a super action-packed game. I'll give you that. Uh, sorry, I was doing something else for a second. <coughs> open the cabinet. Doesn't seem to want to open. I guess there's nothing open. Okay, I'll I'll live with that. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Bookcase. You scan the bookcase and nothing seems out of the ordinary. Move the bookcase. You got a firm grip and tug as hard as you can. You couldn't move this if your life depended on it. I guess I'm not a very strong uh, strong detective. And the fax. The fax machine is operational. And there's a message. That's good. Let's look at it. Dear Professor, looking forward to our date Saturday. Love, Sandra Larson, whose name I already wrote down. Uh-oh. That sounds like some tomfoolery. Okay. So we're good there. And let's exit. 
Let's go about talk to his to his woman again. <coughs> <coughs> again, excuse me. So where is what's her name? <coughs> Get back to the right page in the manual here. That has my other. Uh four nine two oh. Autopilot again. Autopilot, I say. Yeah, it seems like the uh, the UI isn't very responsive. You really got to push the buttons for the uh, for the game to register a button press. Though that might just be a function of my uh, my G15 here, my my old G15 that is kind of breaking a little bit. Six miles away. Bum, bum. There we go. Almost there. Time to go down from, I guess I'm at 11,000 feet. I guess I'll say it's feet. Okay, let's see what this horrible looking lady has to say. Hey, E. Oh, right, sorry. E, there we go. La, la, la. Yeah, she still lives in an area. Okay, tell me about Sandra Larson. She's no good tramp who tried to steal Carl from me. Okay. What about Blaze Wiener? Is that how you spell it? W I. Let's try that again. Blaze, W-E-I-N-E-R. -E -E no, okay, she doesn't know who that dude is. Peter Dahl, what about? Nexus. Note. Bishop. Surgery. Okay, that'll do for her. Let's go check out his lab space. That sounds interesting. Autopilot, 14 miles away. Area actually kind of reminds me of Wing Commander a little bit. Same coloration, same. It's the uh, the scimitar from Wing Commander. Very similar, but this game came out before, so one year before. So maybe uh, maybe the Origin Systems guys uh, stole stole the design for the scimitar cockpit from uh, from this game.
Excuse me. Okay, we are there. Oh, right, I wanted to save. Okay, well, whatever. Ugh. Okay, fight controls. So walk forward, cursor right, crouch, cursor down, fire a space. Now let's run away. Okay, back here. Here I can actually save my game. Game zero. Save. Yes. And now let's do this again. Okay, so time to fight. This is going to be awesome. Okay. It's more of a timing thing. Haha. <laughs> Oh, okay, I get it. Yes, now I remember. The point is actually to get to the other side. Oh, that wasn't good. Oh. That was awful. Holy crap, this goes on for a long time. They definitely jammed a lot of gameplay stuff into this game. Stand up. Stand up, damn you. Oh, oh, what is... Oh, my God. Wow. Okay, so it's good that I did go back and save that game. So we'll try this one more time. Uh, load. Yes. E. Okay, so now I think I have a little more of a hang of this. So we want to... The, the trick is to move forward. Watch out for these pixels. Pixel bullets. Oh, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I meant H, not escape. Okay, let's do it one more time. Holy wow. Okay, H. H, okay. Fire, crouch, walk forward. The object is to cross the other side. Okay, so that's, okay. It didn't seem like on that second screen it was actually letting me go anywhere. Oh. Whew.
Success. <coughs> Ooh, I'm gonna have to save after that. I stepped from the fog shrouded street into the warehouse that Link's Glinsky rented. It's an old brick building located near the docks. The smell of the ocean has been absorbed into the wooden beams and walls, and the atmosphere is heavy and damp. The floor is cement, and every time I take a step, the whole area reverberates. It's dark inside, the only lighting being a panel of frosted glass windows up near the roof line. Ooh, excuse me. I can only barely make out what appears to be a small area closed off from the rest of the building. I walk over and check it out. Okay, search mode again. Forklift. Forklift is old. Can't move it. I turn it on. Rat trap. No. <laughs> okay, I took the rat trap. Let's make the crates. Crate set on the floor. One crate has an uneven hole near the floor. Let's look at the hole. The hole is small and appears to have been jaggedly cut. You reach inside the hole to open it further, and a large black rat grabs hold of your finger. You shake furiously and finally lets go. When you pull your hand out, a small chunk of your forefinger is missing. machine is called an alpha wave processor okay turn it on okay more crates nothing. oh ammunition is something 100 rounds of ammunition we definitely take that back back Is professor, they're on to you. I suggest you disappear fast. The name at the bottom is Sonny Fletcher. Getting a lot of names here. <coughs> Go back. Let's check the computer. Look at the computer. Without a pass card. Okay. Let's look at the printer. Standard laser printer. Nothing on it. Okay. safe. I mean open. Lock and I don't have a key. How about some crates? Nothing. Boxes. I need a ladder. Do I see a ladder? I see a forklift, but it doesn't work. Pocket watch. Ooh, I can pawn it. I don't know for sure. Yeah. Good stuff. Because yes, apparently in this game you spend money, and one way to make money is to do bounties or to pawn things. Oops, I guess I'll have to. Pepto Bismol. Band aid. Band-Aid can. Edible? Is that what it said? Edible. Interesting. Oh, you get the can of assorted band-aids that contained a Nexus pass card. Ooh, that's good to know. 
and radiation pills, expiry date of 2011. Let's take them anyways. Calendar, I mean, look. October 3rd, 2033 is circled, doomsday. Ot 3, 2033, doomsday. <coughs> fan take the fan nope open the file drawer it's locked and i don't have the key i do however have a pass card now which maybe i can use on the computer there we go that one looks red nope oh okay oh i got a lot of passwords though Got to try all of these. Okay, so I S B T H O. Okay. P U E Q N E. L A S E. N T O L W. I'm sure I'm going to go through all these and none of them are going to work. N O D G A R. G N O P. They really should put a limit on uh, how many of these I can try. This isn't very secure. Still, I got some stuff from here, so that's something. Let's see, I check my inventory. Took, but I forgot to look at. Check ledger, last deposit from MTC Corporation. Last check to Sonny Fletcher. Sonny Fletcher, oh, private investigator. Okay, I think I should go talk. I got money, so I don't need to pawn right now. Let's go talk to the cop. Maybe he knows some stuff. But let's save our game. D. Let's keep saving on game zero, zero, zero. Yes. N. Where is the cop at? Police detective 4680. N 4680. Autopilot. Oh, it's close by.
E. Okay, let's see what this guy's got to say. I enter the West Precinct Station near the Bay Bridge. Walking down a narrow corridor, I see a number of posters in support of the Law and Order political party. I find the office of Police Detective Steve Clements and walk in. Clements greets me with his usual belligerency. What do you want, Seamus? He snarls. Whoa, that's... Yeah, I like his hat. <laughs> Tell me about... Okay, well, let's start from the beginning. Carl Linsky. Why are you interested in him? Oh, I get it. His daughter wasn't happy with our investigation. She's knocking the hell out of cops over a simple suicide. Well, she's wasting your time and her money. We've got a witness named Bash Dago. Daggett. Bash Dago. Who saw him jump off the bridge? He even left a suicide note. He hands me the copy. The note reads, Sylvia, I'm too tired and too sick of living. Please forgive me. Dad, how much more proof does that girl need? Let's ask him about Sandra Larson. Sorry, can't help you there. Blaze Wiener. Maybe I spelled that wrong. Blaze Wiener. Nope. Uh, where's that dude's name that I wrote down? Sonny Fletcher. Sonny Fletcher. Fletcher, yeah, I've heard of him. He used to be on the force. I think he's a PI now. Okay, that's good to know. Cal Davis? How about Cal Davis? Oh, question. Cal Davis. Nexus. Pass key. Pass. Word. <coughs> Did I already ask about Peter Dull? Let's see. Insurance check. Check ledger. MTC Corp. Order. It seems like they know about this stuff. A lot of the police officers think the Law and Order Party is just what the city needs, but that outfit scares me. Insurance. Insurance? I didn't know about an insurance policy on Linsky. Uh, okay, let's see what else we got here. Surger. Surgery. Nope. Report. Autopsy. John Richards. He's so dull he can't even entertain a doubt. Ha ha ha. Cal Davis, Sandra Larson, Blaze Wiener, I'm afraid the nicest thing I can say about Dago or Daggett or whatever you want to call him is that he is the ultimate lowlife scumbag. You'll find him past the Mission District at 4... Dag it. Dago. 4657. What if I bribe him? I'm not interested in your bribes. Keep your money. I'll tell you what I know. I'm not going to threaten a cop. It's probably not a good idea. <coughs> D. Save. Yes. So I haven't talked to the daughter yet. So let's go see her at 4421. <coughs> but then I may have to call it because uh, I'm deteriorating here. <coughs> <coughs> C. 
72 miles. It's going to take a year. I'm going to go do something. Oh, okay. Wow, there's, there's a faster speed than what we've been doing, it seems. Seven six. I think I'll take a nap after this. Okay, we're there. I thought I was dying. Landing pad contact. Uh, we already saved the game. Let's save it again, just to be safe. And exit. <coughs> Let's see, is she hot? Bell chimed inside, and after a moment, Sylvia opened the door. She wore a pale blue blouse and white shorts that were short enough to be friendly. She was as beautiful as ever, with her soft blonde hair and clear blue eyes. I knew I was starting to fall for her. Careful, I reminded myself. She's a client, and falling for a client is dangerous in my business. Still, if only I knew how she felt for me. Oh, hello. Hello, late 80s hot girl. Okay. about her dad. He was happy at USF at 4663, which I don't think I have, do I? USF 4663. No, no, I do have that. I just haven't been there yet. Uh, he took a leave of absence to do some consulting work, and his whole personality changed. I'm sure he was in some sort of trouble because of this. I don't believe he committed suicide. I've lost both my father and the insurance money, and I'm going to find out why. If you need to look through his apartment, it's located at 4660, which I do have, and I already did. Let's talk about Sylvia. No, she's Sylvia. Eh, hey, why not? What's I going to do? My past has been a little wild, Tex. I just have this thing about men, but I think a man like you would be enough to settle me down. Maybe when this case is over, you and I could explore the possibility. Ooh, she's pretty forward. Dolores. Oh, question. Dolores. Bite body. Dolores and my father had talked about getting married. I always felt she had seduced him by black magic because there was no other way my father would have fallen for a woman like her. MTC Corp. 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 She doesn't know about MTC Corp. What about Gideon Enterprises? Nope. Nexus? Nope. Law and, Law and Order. I've heard the name, but I don't know much about them. Not very political. Okay. Uh, yeah, okay, she probably has something to say about insurance. But you're thinking I might have killed my father for the insurance money, aren't you? I'm not going to deny that I could use a million dollars. But honestly, I believe that my father was murdered, and if he was, I'm entitled to the money. But if you're, you investigate his death and you're convinced it's a suicide, I'll accept your findings. Okay, so what about the guy? Peter Dull. Peter Dull is a pompous ass. Good. Uh, Sandra Larson. She's got to know about Sandra Larson. My father had taken her out several times. I was glad to see her with someone other than that pig Dolores. When Dolores found out, she was fit to be roasted. Yeah. So, 
apparent suicide, angry fiance. Blaze, 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 Wiener. Maybe it's spelled the other way. Nope, no one knows about Blaze Wiener. Bishop. Nope. Note. Sonny Fletcher. Okay. Cal Davis. Bash Dago. Nope. Carl Peter Dahl, blah, blah, blah. Surgery. Carl Linsky surgery. Ah, uh, no, we already. Th okay, let's go to one more place that I haven't been to yet, which is. Did I go to his office? 4663? Let's go there. Let's make sure. Five miles away. <coughs> there we go, full throttle, baby. there. Okay, time to land. Uh, save. Oops. Boom. Yes. So the instructor's office at the University of San Francisco are small. Oh, okay, no, I did come here. Nothing else to do with this. That was the first place I went. Okay, you know what? I'm, uh... I'm good. So I think uh, that'll do for the moment. Been at this about an hour. Uh, game seems interesting, actually. It's it's more interesting than uh, it's 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 started to grow on me. The whole investigation aspect of uh, of everything. So uh, great, awesome. Thanks, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, maybe we'll pick this up again later, or maybe I will uh, roll right into the uh, the second game, which is called Martian something or other. Anyways, thanks.